2018 marked the 35th UIM F1H to a World Powerboat Championship season, and what a year it was with new venues, big team shakeups, new blood, and old rivalries put to the fire. And the racing, non-stop adrenaline-filled action as the world's premier Powerboat Racing Series Championship came down to the wire. It was a seven Grand Prix calendar for 2018, raced in some of the most stunning locations around the world. The season kicked off in Portimao, Portugal for a 10th time before heading to Great Britain, where London would host its first UIM F1 H2O Grand Prix since 1985. The European legs of the season ended with a fourth visit to the internationally renowned spa resort of Evian, France for round three on Lac Le Mans, and then it was off to the Far East for the first ever Grand Prix in Xiangyang, China. From the Far East, the tour headed to the subcontinent as Amaravati hosted its first ever Grand Prix of India. Then it was on to the Middle East for the two traditional season-ending Grand Prix, round six in Abu Dhabi, and then the final round on the Khalid Lagoon in Sharjah, where the 2018 season would be decided. The F1 H2O Grand Prix is a three-day celebration of the thrill of racing where fans can get a taste of the G-forces in the F1 two-seater. An F1 H2O event is also a celebration with local hospitality and partying a part of the F1 lifestyle. The team driver lineups for 2018 were almost unrecognizable compared with the previous year after prolific pre-season cockpit reshuffles that began the moment the checkered flag dropped in Sharjah to close out 2017. Nine teams and 19 drivers from 12 countries made up the 2018 entry, which boasted three multiple world champions and nine drivers who have climbed onto the top step of the podium. Of course, the man to beat was Alex Carrella, the 2017 world champion. After losing the world championship to Philip Schiap three years in a row, he bounced back and regained the world crown in style in 2017, his fourth world championship title under his belt. But he switched the Team Abu Dhabi colors for Victory Blue, driving a brand new Victory Boat, the 2018 Challenger, and he paired up with seven-time Grand Prix winner Ahmed al Hamali under team manager and multiple world champion Scott Gilman. Alex Carella switched seats with Sean Torrente, who left Victory Team for Team Abu Dhabi. He finished on the year-end podium four consecutive times in the past five years, so close but never enough. But now he has the might of Team Abu Dhabi behind him. Torrente raced alongside the veteran former world number two and seven-time Grand Prix winner Tani al Kamzi and the talented young Rashid al Kamzi, all racing under legendary 10-time world champion and team manager Guido Capellini. In CTIC F1 Shenzhen China team, it was business as usual. The team again headed by three-time consecutive world champion and 2017 world runner-up Philip Schiap of France. His teammate Peter Marin was settling in well too, racking up 10 points for the team in 2017. In Team Sweden, 2017 world number five and five-time Grand Prix winner Jonas Anderson wanted to keep his good form from previous seasons going, teaming up with a talented young Eric Eden. Trying to put a rough 2017 behind them, Mad Croc Baba Racing Team once again had two-time world champion Sami Celio and his Finnish compatriot Philip Roms. Poland's Bartek Marszalek moved to Emirates Racing as a 34-year-old from Warsaw lined up alongside teammate Moritz Stromoy for the second time in his seven-year stint in the championship. Marszalek's place in Blaze Performance was filled by Simone Bianca Schuft, only the second female driver on the tour in 2018 and she would have the experience of prolific 12-time Grand Prix winner Francesco Cantando of Italy on her side. One team that has held firm and steadfast is F1 Atlantic, with local hero and last year's Portimao podium placer Duarte Benevente of Portugal continuing his solid partnership with Australian Grant Trask. Big news was that 2017 year-end podium placer Eric Stark was left without a team. Having been replaced by Eric Eden and Team Sweden, Stark was nearly a spectator come round one until he just managed to find a last-minute spot on Team Maverick where he teamed up with Cedric de Guin. Portimao, Portugal was once again the season opener, the UIM F1 H2O Tour having started on the Arad River for a tenth time as the 17th Grand Prix of Portugal got the 2018 season underway. 
in the official BRM qualifying. <laughs> Sean Torrente kicked the ear off on a high, nabbing the pole by a slim margin from teammate Al Kamzi with his perennial world title rival Alex Carella starting third. Torrente and his teammate Daniel Kamzi started Team Abu Dhabi off in a 1-2 position off the pontoon and the two promptly led proceedings from the get-go. But then a collision between Emirates Racing's Moritz Stromoy and Team Sweden's Jonas Anderson, whose engine burst into flames, brought out the yellow flag at the end of the start lap. It was quite hard. It was, we came from two completely different lines and uh, he came from the outside, I turned the inside and bang. I was lucky I didn't if you beat the Norwegian woman, it's it's you, problem if you're you you sweet. <laughs> Torrente and Alcamzi held off all challengers on the restart on lap five, while a battle heated up behind them between three-time world champion Philip Schiap and four-time and defending world champion Alex Corella. Schiap eventually passing the victory driver who was having trim issues on lap 34. Philip Schiap pushed to try to close the gap on Alcamzi, but came up just short. Corella was able to manage his issues and held on to fourth place, but came under increasing pressure in the closing laps from Schiap's CTIC teammate Peter Marin, who finished in fifth ahead of Ahmed Alhamali. So a brilliant start to the season from Team Abu Dhabi with a Torrente Al Kamzi 1-2 as they topped the world standings. That boat is ridiculous. It is so damn good. I just managed the race. They told me my gap. I kept it at five, four, four or five seconds the whole time and just uh, managed it. Philip Xiap third on the podium, Corella managing fourth, then Xiap CTIC F1 Shenzhen China teammate Peter Marin with his best ever result in fifth. Eric Eating getting his best finish in just his second start on the top tier in ninth, ahead of Eric Stark who finished 10th. Round two was in London as the first UIM F1 H2O Grand Prix in the UK in 33 years was raced at the Royal Victoria Dock, drawing British crowds in by the thousands as the locals savored the chance to experience F1 H2O racing for the first time in decades. A third female driver, Norwegian Mette Brandt Bjerknes, joined Maverick F1 Racing, teaming up with Cedric de Guin and Eric Stark. Eric Stark outpaced the field in BRM official qualifying to win his second career pole position ahead of Philip Schiap and defending world champion Alex Carella. Stark capitalized on his pole win as the Swede led from the rolling start, holding off the two multiple world champions behind him, Schiap and Carella. Shiap's teammate Peter Marin had a brilliant race, overtaking Cantando and Corella to move up to third, while round one Portimao winner Sean Torrente passed Eric Eden in lap nine to move up to sixth. But race leader Stark had to deal with two yellow flags. The first came after Torrente speared and destroyed a turn buoy, forcing him to retire on lap 11. The second came when the defending world champion Alex Carella Bauer rolled out of the race on lap 36 of 54. Stark battled nerves and the pressure from CTIC drivers Shiap and Marin behind him to take the checkered flag and win his second career Grand Prix. A brilliant start to finish run for the Maverick F1 driver. Shiap, runner-up, Morin with his best ever result on the podium in third, Daniel Kamzi fourth, and then Sami Celio is fifth. That runner-up finish moved Philip Shiap to the top of the world driver standings on 27 points, three points clear of Daniel Kamzi, Eric Stark up in third position as Sean Torrente was bumped down to fourth. It's a dream day for me, for the team, for my teammate, it's, it's incredible. This is truly amazing like the guys working so hard and my father Jonas Anderson making engines you know it's I managed to do it and I'm standing here at the shore with the victory so it's a re truly amazing.
the Grand Prix of France was yet again held on Lac Leman in Evian. The <laughs> world-renowned tourism spa destination hosting its fourth consecutive year of UIM F1 H2O racing as a 22nd Grand Prix of France got underway. The big news ahead of round three was the team switch that saw Eric Stark leave Maverick F1 to join Team Abu Dhabi, which now boasted a veritable dream team of Stark, Torrente and Alcamzi. Schiap was entering the Grand Prix of France at the top of the world standings, but he had to overcome the jinx of Evian, where he's been unable to finish a race in three years. Big drama in qualifier as defending world champion Alex Carella was out in Q1 and Torrente out in Q2. Eric Stark wowed spectators and his new team with a high-flying lap to clinch pole position ahead of Schiap in P2 and Alcamzi in P3. Stark never let the lead go in the race on Lac Le Mans, chased by his teammate Daniel Kamzi, who had a brilliant start, putting pressure on Stark from the get-go. Shiap's jinx on Lac Le Mans continued with a fourth consecutive DNF in Evian, out on lap five with a broken propeller. Mad Croc Baba racer Philip Roms crashed out in lap eight, the first yellow flag of the race, but Stark held off Alcanzi with Francesco Cantando third, and round one winner Sean Torrente passing Marshalek and moving up early into fourth position until the second yellow flag 13 laps later as Alex Corella crashed out. On the second restart, Torrente and Eric Eden passed Francesco Cantando, who eventually had to retire. Stark closed out an impressive second Grand Prix win in a row with his Team Abu Dhabi teammates Al Kamzi and Torrente joining him on the podium for an unprecedented single team podium lockdown. Eric Eden capped a great race with fourth, Peter Marin fifth, Anderson coming up from 18th to finish the race sixth. And so Team Abu Dhabi led the world team standings going into Xiangyang with all three Team Abu Dhabi drivers dominating the world standings. Eric Stark was on top, Daniel Kamzi second, Torrente third, and CTIC China drivers Xiap and Marin fourth and fifth. To be honest, everyone was run exactly the same boats. So they were on the copy of everyone's propellers and we had the same engine. So it was, it was a really cool day to be one, two, three. UIM F1 H2O Tour headed to the Far East for round four for a first ever Grand Prix in Xiangyang, China, a city at once ancient and modern with a rich cultural heritage and a thriving social and economic life as thousands gathered along the banks of the Han River for the agile Grand Prix of Xiangyang. All eyes were on the home team, CTIC F1 Shenzhen, China. Jonas Anderson's Team Sweden became Team Amaravati, sponsored by the Indian state of Andhra Pradesh. And there was a new driver for Maverick F1, rookie Thai racer Sutipan Sukbongbong. In BRM official qualifying, it was Sean Torrente who shined, beating Stark for pole position, and then Jonas Anderson third, Alkamzi fourth, and Shiap back in sixth. Torrente had a great start and led from the pontoon as Eric Stark struggled off the mark before locking horns with his teammate Dani Alcanzi, who passed Anderson to move into third. The three Team Abu Dhabi drivers led the field with Anderson and Schiap in fourth and fifth behind them and then Ahmed Al Hamali in sixth. Alcanzi was able to pass Stark eventually, moving up to second in pursuit of Torrente. A three-way battle further back between Emirates Racing's Bartek Marshalek and Moritz Stromoy and CTIC's Peter Marin. It was won by Peter Marin after Marshalek spun out on lap 19 and Stromoy lost power near the end. It was a brilliant performance from Team Abu Dhabi yet again. Torrente won his sixth career Grand Prix. Al Kamzi finishing runner-up and Stark unable to make the hat-trick but happy with another podium finish. Anderson fourth for Team Amaravati, Philip Schiap fifth, Alhamali sixth, then Morin, Stromoy, Eden, and Marshalek completing the top ten. So I'm blessed to be able to run the to drive them, probably one of the most amazing boats ever in the history of our sport. And I'm blessed to have great teammates. Um, we're all in a heat, dead heat for the championship. 
in the world standings leading up to the Grand Prix of India, Daniel Kamzi led on 54 points with just two points separating his second. <laughs> Third place teammates Stark and Torrente. A second podium lockdown for Team Abu Dhabi put them 50 points ahead of CTIC F1 Shenzhen China in the world team standings. Team Amaravati were third above Victory and Maverick F1. UIM F1 H2 a World Championship returned to India for the crucial fifth round of the 2018 season, kicking off the final free race run-in to year-end and title honors with the UIM F1 H2 o Grand Prix of India. The Indian state of Andhra Pradesh hosted its first major international sporting event as City of the Future Amaravati welcomed the UIM F1 H2 o Tour to the banks of the Krishna River. In a heated DRM official qualifying, Moritz Stromoy nearly stole the show from Team Abu Dhabi until Torrente came storming out to snatch pole position yet again. Stromoy starting second on the pontoon ahead of Stark and Alkamzi with Team Amaravati's Anderson starting fifth. Sean Torrente made the perfect start, but then a dramatic collision between CTIC driver Philip Schiep and F1 Atlantic's Duarte Benevente produced a yellow flag which effectively ended Schiep's title hopes in 2018. Alex Carella's race and any chance for a year-end podium also ended as he retired on the same lap with technical issues. With that yellow flag, Torrente would have to do it all again on the restart, but he made no mistake, once again opening his lead. Moritz Stromoy in a gutsy move past Eric Stark in dramatic fashion, nabbing second, and then proceeded to chase Torrente, the Norwegian never letting Torrente break away too far. But she also had to fend off Eric Stark behind her in third as she drove sandwich between the two Abu Dhabi boats all race long. World standings leader Tani Al Kamzi hit with bad luck. He had to retire on lap five. Team Amaravati's Jonas Anderson was aiming to give locals something to cheer for, running in fourth until lap 33 when he was forced to retire. But his teammate Eric Eden kept the Amaravati and Indian flag flying, rising from 18th on the pontoon all the way up to sixth. Peter Marin was again in great form, moving up to fourth after Anderson's exit, with former Grand Prix of India winner Francesco Cantando in fifth. Torrente held off Stromoy for his third race win of the year as he won the Grand Prix of India. Stromoy runner-up, Stark third, Marin fourth, Cantando fifth, Eden for Amaravati in sixth, then Roms Alhamali Shuft and Sukbongbong rounding out the top ten. That win put Sean Torrente on top of the world standings at the end of round five. Seven points clear of Eric Stark with Daniel Kamzi dropping to third with that DNF. Marin in fourth, Shia fifth, and Stromoy sixth. The UIM F1 H2 a World Powerboat Championship kicked into high gear as the tour headed to the United Arab Emirates for the final two rounds of the 2018 season with Abu Dhabi hosting the sixth and penultimate Grand Prix of the year. Sean Torrente topped the world standings heading into the Grand Prix of Abu Dhabi, but Stark and Alkamzi were also in the running with a maximum 40 points on offer and the BRM official qualifying would be more important than ever. Tensions were high. In Q2, there was a high impact collision between Peter Morin and Ahmed Al Hamali. Al Hamali would not be able to race. Al Kamzi had a brilliant run in Q3 to take provisional pole before it was snatched away from him by Moritz Stromoy. Then Eric Stark produced a masterful lap to seal the deal after Torrente only managed sixth. So Eric Stark would be on pole, Alkamzi third behind Stromoy, while Torrente would have to battle up from sixth. It was going to be a nerve-wracking race from the start. All eyes were now on the local team to bring home the championship. The race was on. That is not a good start from Eric Stark as Stromoy and Alkamzi pull away from the pole sitter. Peter Morin flies past Anderson and Eden, leaving the Amaravati drivers behind as Morin builds on a great start. 
Eric Stark trying to make the most of that inside lane. He cuts the corner tight, but Peter Marin is fast on the outside, and Stark drops another spot in Marin's spray. Behind them, Moritz Strom. <laughs> from the spray with Celio fighting on the outside. He does it. He passes Stromoy into fourth position. What a start from Celio up from 10th. Out in the lead is Alcamzi off to a brilliant start in his hometown. After nearly two decades of racing on the tour, Alcamzi wants to be the first local to win the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. But then it was disaster for Stark. His engine quit on lap 29. The Swedes' world title hopes taking a big, cruel blow. That moved Celio up into third, the Finnish two-time world champion trying to put two seasons of frustration behind him. Sean Torrente was unable to climb any places up from sixth, but he at least managed to hold point all race long, knowing every point was crucial. Daniel Gamzi was unstoppable, a historic first ever win for an Abu Dhabi native in the home Grand Prix. Runner-up, Peter Marin. What a season for him. And on the podium again after a long dry spell, Sammy Celio. That win by Al Kamzi kept him firmly in the world title running ahead of the final Grand Prix in Sharjah. But that sixth place finish was all Torrente needed to hold on to the world standings lead. Three points up on Al Kamzi with Stark dropping to third, 12 points behind Torrente. I start from the duck uh, third. I turn first boy, no one behind me. I look, where's the guys? Is I'm racing alone or no? And then I push hard, keep the engine safe, finish the race. The 2018 UIM F1 H2O World Powerboat Championship came to a thrilling climax in the Grand Prix of Sharjah in the UAE as three drivers, all from the same team, fought it out on the Khalid Lagoon to see which one of them would win their first ever World Championship title in UIM F1 H2O racing. In BRM official qualifying, Torrente had electrical issues, unable to make it into Q3, meaning he would have to start in 7th. Alkamzi would start in 6th, each driver knowing they had to stay in front of the other for the world title. Eric Stark, his back against the wall, knew he needed something special, and he found it, taking the pole position in Sharjah. Anderson finished 2nd, and Celio 3rd. It's a chance to win the championship, uh, but I can't control it. The only thing I can do is try to win the race, and I'm going to do it, uh, try it at least, and uh, then we see if someone helps me from above. This was it. It all came down to the last race. It was an explosive start to the race with Stark holding on to P1 from Anderson, but Alcamzi made a fantastic start, passing three boats to move up into third, and Torrente also gunning it out there, passing Sammy Celio to move into sixth, but then the yellow flag came out after Maverick F1's Sutipan Sukbongbong turned over. Cruel blow for Alcamzi and Torrente, who would have to do it all over again as the race reverted to the starting lineup for the rolling start. At the restart, Stark made no mistake, leading the field despite pressure from second place Jonas Anderson. Behind them, Alcamzi and Torrente on the warpath as first the Emirati and then the American overhauled Sammy Celio, bumping the fin down to fifth. Torrente gave chase to Alcamzi, knowing he had to pass his teammate for the world title. Alcamzi tried to put pressure on Jonas Anderson, trying to put a boat between him and Torrente. But then the unthinkable happened. Dani Alcamzi came to a grinding halt as Torrente flew past the struggling Emirati. What a cruel blow to Alcamzi's chances. That's it, it's all over. His hopes for a world title vanish. Shock and despair for him and his local supporters. That means Torrente was headed for the world title up in third, even if Stark won, but he had to avoid any mechanical breakdowns. The final laps, Stark is holding Anderson off. There it is, Eric Stark is the Grand Prix of Sharjah winner, and Sean Torrente is the new 2018 UIM F1 H2O world champion. What a result and what a way to cap off a year for Team Abu Dhabi, who have towered head and shoulders over the season. Perfect race for Eric Stark and great finish for runner-up Jonas Anderson. He congratulated Stark after a hard-fought battle. Celio was fourth. Great result for Eden in fifth, up from 15th. 
Shiap 7th, Cedric Deguin got two points for Maverick in ninth. In the team championship results, the points proved crucial for Team Amaravati, who ended the year in third behind runners-up CTIC F1 Shenzhen China team, and of course, on to... Team Abu Dhabi, the team of the year, completing a fairy tale season with the world team title, the world driver title, and the year end podium lockdown. Sean Torrente is the 2018 UIM F1 H2O world champion with 89 points. Stark, world runner up on 85. Al Kamzi finishes the year world number three on 74 points. Morin caps off a great year in fourth. Shiap fifth, Stromoy sixth. Every year we do this interview and we say, you know what, maybe next year we had a great year, but this year we say it's this year. 2018 world champion, um, no one can ever take that away. Thank you for all the support of Abu Dhabi, really, they support us so much. And uh, we test tomorrow morning at 7 for next year. Sharjah celebrated the close of another incredible season with a lavish feast to top off the 7th and final Grand Prix of 2018. See you in 2019.